Dr. Scott, Oxygen Therapy Consultant, Atlanta, Georgia. This is the Underground Cure. Um, you know how we do it, guys. We're just going to go in. We got questions that people are sending in, and I'm very excited about that because that tells me, number one, that people are searching for the answer. That tells me, number two, that people are definitely interested in a natural way to eradicate the herpes virus from the system. Okay, a natural way to eradicate the herpes virus. That tells me that the movement is growing, guys, and I'm just totally excited um, to give this information and to bring this information to you. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's question. Um, how can we get uh, rid of... Uh, wait a minute. They, let me just change this because they didn't phrase it. They didn't spell the question correctly. Sorry. How can we get rid of a considered incurable disease in seven days? Wow. Okay. How can we get rid of an incurable disease in seven days? Okay. So before um, I answer that, I really got to answer that with another question. I know that sounds weird, but what the real question is, is how quickly will the herpes virus die when exposed to oxygen? Oxygen. Okay, so it's not even um, it's not even a question of it being considered incurable. Let me just address that first, because the virus, um, the immune system is structured and built to make the body healed, to heal the system, to get rid of virus infection and bacteria, okay? So it's not even an issue of seven days or it's not even an issue of it being incurable because we know that that is a lie. It is completely able, uh, your body has the complete ability to eradicate the virus from your body, okay? Now, the question is really how quickly will the herpes virus die when exposed to oxygen? Now, why is that the question, okay? That's the question because this is what the system or our protocols do. Or this is how you kill virus. Okay, now it's a scientific fact that when virus is exposed to low volumes or low levels of oxygen, it cannot thrive. Okay, I'll say it again. When a virus is exposed to low levels of oxygen, it cannot thrive. When they want to study a virus, they turn the oxygen down. When they want to kill off the virus, they turn the oxygen levels up that will kill off the virus. Okay? So this is what's happening in the body. This is what's happening in your system. Okay? We're exposing the virus by turning the oxygen levels up in the cells that the virus is hosting, are living, are thriving off of. See, when the oxygen level goes up, the virus cannot thrive off of that cell anymore, and the immune system is also increased in order to eradicate the virus. Okay? Now, how quickly can the herpes virus die when exposed to oxygen? The answer is almost immediately, guys, almost immediately, okay? Uh, and I'm not saying that it just instantaneously happened because you have to understand this is a living organism and it, uh, it dies just like a human would die, okay? But when it is exposed to oxygen, high levels of oxygen, it dies, okay? Now, you might ask the question also, I just want to bring up while we're in this video, is why do you have to take a protocol to elevate the level of oxygen in the system, in the cell? Well, number one, when you take in oxygen, the cells are what converts oxygen for the blood, okay? So when you take in oxygen, understand that you're only converting three to five percent of the oxygen you take in is actually reaching the blood and reaching the other cells. 
and factions of our, our, our organs of the body, okay? So knowing this, we have to do something to elevate it. And that's why people that tell you, oh, you just have to do one thing or you can just do this or that. No, there are a series of things that you have to do in order for this to happen, in order for you to raise the oxygen level in the body enough to expose the virus and also increase the immune system enough in order to kill the virus, okay? In order to kill the virus. Now, here's what you need to do at this point. These are the action steps that you need to take. Now that you've got this information, there's an old saying that says, if you know better, do better. Okay? If you know better, do better. So that means it's time to take action. Number one, go to theundergroundcure.com. Number two, sign up for the boot camp. Guys, listen, the boot camp will give you, get you off and run into the races absolutely free. Sign up for the boot camp. Number two, watch the welcome letter overview video on the homepage. Okay? It's step two at the bottom of the homepage. It's real simple. Okay? Sign up for the boot camp, watch the welcome letter overview video. Okay, step three is you want to complete a treatment application to get your private protocol recommendation. And what does that mean? You're going to answer a series of questions after you watch the overview video. Okay, it's going to be like an application. This will help us to determine, number one, if we can accept you, and number two, if the recommend uh, it will get you your recommendation so you'll know which kit is best for you okay now you're going to complete those questions you're going to go through it after you complete all your questions you're going to hit submit and based on your answers immediately it's going to pop back up a recommendation for what you should be going through or the program that's going to fit you the best okay the next thing you need to do is purchase the kit that was recommended on the recommendation. Purchase the kit. Listen, guys, these are steps to take action. Okay, so if you're ready to take action, then after you get your recommendation, the ball is in your court. And I will tell you this, the recommendation is only good for 30 days because your system changes, the virus changes, uh, and it, it saturates the body more. So after 30 days, your situation could be totally different. So once you get your recommendation, take action and go ahead and get your herpes protocol kit. Okay? I typically ask people to do four things at the end of each video um, that will help support the movement. Number one is subscribe to the channel. Listen, guys. There's a subscribe button above or below this video. Subscribe to the channel. Be a part of the, the movement. Um, there are millions of people that are on, on the train uh, for alternative healing and alternative health and curing the body. Um, so be a part of that movement. Okay. Number two, leave a positive comment below. We don't accept any negativity. Any negative comments will be deleted. Like your mother used to say, if you don't have anything nice to say, uh, please don't say it at all and definitely don't say it on our channel or our videos. Okay? Share this video, guys. There is a link right below this video. You can get the URL that is above on this uh, page. You can copy that, put it in your social media, put it on the blogs, put it on the forums that you're a part of. Get this information out. Okay? Last but not least, follow us on Facebook. If you go to Facebook and you put in The Underground Cure, um, you will get to our Facebook page, which you can like. You can check out videos that are posted there and other inform information that is posted there. Okay? Now, if you have any questions, you can definitely email us at undergroundcure at gmail.com. You can also visit the website at theundergroundcure.com. If you missed any of that, all the information is right below this video in the description. Okay, so just look at the description and you can get the information to contact us or to get to the website. So with that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a plum pleasing pleasure. This is The Underground Cure. I am Obasi Scott, Oxygen Therapy Consultant. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you 
happy, healed, and completely set free. Talk soon.